Hey guys, Mark here. It's been a long journey to get to this point. Um, I started off from Calgary with a plan. It was overcast. I mean, it's been like plus 25, plus 30. It's been ridiculous. All right, it's been nice, nice, nice. So I go outside, it's overcast. Okay. Um, shortly thereafter, it started to rain. Uh, then it started to rain harder. And I just kept driving. I thought, you know, you know. Uh, I just kept coming out here. Finally, now I'm here. I've been sitting here at this trailhead for a while. Some dirt bikers came in, did their thing. Now they're gone. I had to wait for them to leave because it's just too hard. It's just too, like, it's just me and them here. So it's just too weird for me to just start talking in my car to my phone. And they're all kind of like, so. Uh, it's a little difficult to even explain where I am. This is uh, McLean Creek OHV area, I believe. So that's why there's dirt bikers. I had to change my land completely because of all the rain. So it stopped raining now, but I don't even have my rain pants. So yeah, I don't want to go on like kind of a bigger, you know, I've decided to just change it up, right? I'll do something short. It's low cloud, it's not an ideal day, but I still would like to check something out. So I found something. So this is the purple one again. I came up the Ware Road. The plan was to go down here and, and do this, finish that off. But instead I'm way up here now, way at the top and I'm at this trail ahead and I'm gonna go do this here, this Champions Lake. Champion Lakes. Only a kilometer and a half. Like I guess I don't even have rain pants, so I'm probably gonna get wet and stuff, but for a kilometer and a half, all right. Okay. These guys are like, screw the rain, and screw the mud, we're gonna go dirt biking. I appreciate the, uh, admire the enthusiasm. You can see it's still, you know, a little bit. It's still sprinkling. But not a big deal. All right, I'm gonna go over here. I gotta go walk up that thing. At one point, I actually sat at that trailhead for a while, hung out, read the book, and then I drove off, maybe for like 10 minutes, but I decided to come back. I mean, there's something to be said about being flexible with this sort of thing, right? That's why you bring the book in your car. I could just take pictures at home and run off without the book, but then I wouldn't have any options, right? You want to try to stay flexible. For all you know, you'll show up out there and there'll be like red tape across a trail because there's like a bear, you know, feeding on a carcass or something. So you gotta be, yeah. All right. Start heading up here a bit. All right, got an interpretive sign. This lake has been stocked with rainbow trout and blah, 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 blah. It doesn't actually say which lake. <laughs> yeah, you know, turn right, head up. Yeah, pretty steep, all right. You can see we're not very far away from the road. There goes a the truck ripping by. It's a little steep. Maybe not the best thing to be doing after it's been raining for two hours a little muddy and slick and slidey but you know i'll dig in i'll get up here phew all right i'm bailing into the bush i actually made it most of it but like look at this look how much i'm sliding kind of surprised that i didn't drop to my knees at least once all right, a little something better in the bush. I didn't want to come and do more damage to things by bailing, but kind of is a trail already in here. Ugh. Oh boy. You come to do something that's a kilometer and a half. <laughs> okay, all right. Looks like I'm already at one of the lakes. Cool. Maybe there's not a whole lot of uh, 
People with chainsaws coming to take care of things out here, huh? I think you just figure your way around, whatever. Little trails everywhere. So people actually, they actually stocked this thing. Like it is not large. Got this here, I think this was a little target practice for people coming to shoot stuff. All right, walk along it. Alrighty. Kind of a trail that keeps going along what looks like the uh, little joiner confluence, not confluence, little joiner uh, outlet that's gonna go to the other lake. I gotta say, one thing about being in the forest, when it rains or after it rains, is that it smells amazing, right? The forest just opens up and laps up the water, just loves it. And, uh, oh man, it is, oh, it is so nice. All right, here's the other lake, I'd say. It's kind of a little bit of steam coming off of it over there, fog or whatever you want to call that. Kind of figured there'd be something out here, but you know what? No beer cans, no garbage of any kind. So good for them. Not sure what all this is. It looks like they've been cut too. This is uh, supposed to be some kind of fishing. You, know, you get out here a bit and you whip out your line. I mean, this is supposed to be stocked, right? And of course, it's probably normally a bunch higher. It has been very, very dry this year. Contradictory to what, what we were seeing today, of course, but yeah. Here's another one. Help you get your line out in the water. It must be a little deep to be able to support fish. I'll have to read that little sign back there. Maybe it's a lot deeper than it looks. It reminds me of Hidden Lake out in the, uh, you know, not far from Landslide Lake there in the Klein River area. You know, you have this lake, it's not very big, but apparently it's very, very deep. The lake is back in here somewhere. I have continued north on a trail. The description that Jill gives and the picture and the map that she provides are contradictory. Oh, so seems like the description is just like, keep going this way, you'll get to a meadow. And then you can wander out from there. But the map shows like, a trail on the other side of the lakes going around now this is this trail is evaporating yeah there's really not much left going on here maybe this way anyway i think i want to go walk around the lakes if i can why not i mean this is uh you know for me anyway this isn't much of a hike so i was a lot of little fun Maybe down here. I mean, the more I walk in this craft, the wetter I'm gonna get down from the knees down, but also not a big deal. My car is, you know, 10 minutes walk away. Well, now I'm here. That little marshy area had a bit of, uh, a, bit of a stream coming out of this thing. Not much though. Found uh, more pieces of wood that had been cut and sort of left. And, not totally sure why. Let's try and walk along here. See, it's gotten a little, all right, now we're wet again, all right, squishy. Oh, yeah, that was a big one. I don't know if there's a trail over here. Oh, there's something, there's a little, there's a little trench right here. All right, looks at least like some kind of game trail anyway. All right, let's follow that. All right, she's kind of a full-on trail in the forest now. Walking alongside the lake. All righty. Okay. Keep walking this side, see if I can't get, pick my way to the uh, 
to the other lake from here. These are kind of neat, you know, these are almost like a little ecosystem onto themselves. You got these trees in here that have been here a bajillion years. There's definitely a plethora of track. And you can see that people have been using this to cross. See the footprint there? Yeah. I expect that, uh, like now it's pretty easy trail on this side. I think that I'm not going to have any problems finding my way around the other side of the lake. I can do this or I can do that. Both of them kind of have stuff in the way, but yeah, you know. Okay, this is kind of nice. That's a nice view. Look how it's swirling. That's kind of neat. All right, I think this is basically the last view I'm gonna get of this. Follow the trail over here, see if I can't find a way out. And then the car is just over there. I just went up that ridge over there to get here. This is funny down here. I feel like this is almost like a historical, you know, like you got cut pieces of wood, you got burned pieces of wood. You even have a little bit of garbage in here. It's uh, it's kind of an interesting pile of stuff. A lot of burned pieces of wood. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so now I've left the lake continuing uh, south, and there is a nice trail down here. This is the trail I think that Jill refers to. I uh, misinterpreted it. But also, you know, in the trail description, it says uh, upper lake and lower lake. It's hard to actually figure out which one's upper and lower. They seem basically the same, you know? So, I don't know. Okay. I would come down onto one of the uh, dirt bike trails. This seems to go the right direction. I, I think it'll get to the, uh, the road eventually. There you go. I think this is a much easier way. You go down there to that no motorized vehicles sign and turn left and hike to the lakes. Unless they're gonna, at that, at that sign over there, unless they're gonna build an official like zigzagging trail up, that's kind of a crappy, kind of a crappy ridge to hike over. All right, I guess I kind of understand her description now. And the main trail goes here, like, really I found that I just went right down to the lake and then kept going like that. And then I went around that, that little lake up there. But yeah, you can see the picture of, I mean, basically that's what I did, except that I went around that, that, up that uh, lake to the left. Well, my feet are pretty dry because my shoes are still fairly waterproof. My pants are like half wet three quarters wet my underwear is fine that's kind of the main i mean it's just not a, not comfortable having wet underwear but you know i managed to make something out of a day out of a nothing day make something out of nothing i mean it's nice to still have a lot of options out here otherwise just drive home right but yeah i managed to bang off a trail not very long but when else was i going to do that right kilometer and a half it's at that was probably less than an hour since I left the car. So anyway, hey, nothing says you can't enjoy yourself a little bit just because it's been raining a bit. You know, you just get out there. Next time I'll have to bring my rain pants at least in the car. But yeah, you know, get out there and hike. <laughs>